What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so this is the situation we got right here, ladies and gentlemen. This one came completely out of left field. We have a moderate risk from Alexandria, Louisiana to near Montgomery, Alabama. Ethan WX is joining us for a dual commentary. Ethan, how are you doing? What's up? We're doing good here. All right, so here's what I want to do first. We're going to go ahead and take a look at these risks. We have a 15% tornado risk, which is completely hatched. 10% hatched tornado risk. And we have a 5% risk from, the, uh, from there, a 15% risk for Mississippi and Alabama. Yeah, what do you think of all of this? We have a 30 for wind and 45 hatch for hail, which is the one that most surprised me. Yeah, that is very unusual for the Deep South to get a hail risk that high. Um, I think part of it's because of the Cape is really high for the Deep South. I was seeing like 3,800 Cape on one of the soundings you showed me. I don't know if you're going to show that on the, on the yeah, video. Yeah, I'm going to show that right now, actually. Um, yeah, definitely pull that one up. Yep. We got yeah, this 3,800 is... surface-based cape. That's insane. Yeah, but take Usually a look at the directional see... shear as well. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, that's really good. Yeah, and the cape profile looks uh, really f nice and fat right here compared to the skinny ones we were see as we typically see with some stuff like this. Yeah, you usually want to see a, a fat cape profile when it comes to uh, tornado tornado risk and severe thunderstorms. So that's very good to see. Yeah. Um, that means that this event probably isn't going to overconvect. Yep. Um, like the previous ones kind of started to do before it wrapped itself together overnight. But yeah. yeah, this event I don't think will have as many challenges as the last one did. And uh, it's really started to look good just this morning, honestly. Okay, and speaking of a lot looking, of people slept, a lot of people were sleeping on this event, but now it looks like it's going to be a pretty big deal. But hopefully, um, you know, with the devastating tornadoes the other day, people are going to be alert when it comes to this. Yeah, everyone in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, if you're in that slight enhanced and moderate risk, stay on high alert. We all know what happened in Mississippi just on Friday. I have the satellite pulled up right now. Actually, it's partly cloudy in a lot of these areas. That's going to enhance that dineural heating, and that's going to enhance that severe weather out, uh, risk. Yep, and it's going to be pretty warm down there, too. Yeah, what's the... Let me take a look at the dew points real quickly over there. I mean, sir. that one sounding you showed me is basically saturated at the surface, and that's 74 dew point right Yeah, we're at 73, 70, uh, 74 dew point. The 72 is the broad area. Like, I mean, we have, yeah, it's currently, 80, it's currently 81 in Jackson, which is warmer than was expected. So, yeah. you know, 80, over 80 degrees with dew points in the low to mid 70s, that is extremely moist air. Yeah. Very uh, favorable for storm development. Yeah, we, like... Yeah, this is e this is even more moisture than on Friday, which is quite surprising to me. Um, yep. One thing I want to show the audience, I want to show the, the supercell composite and significant tornado parameter right here. The supercell composite has kind of caught me off guard, actually. Um, there's a value of 26 in this. I just looked at a value of 26, uh, uh, super 27 supercell composite. That's You've been looking at this for a while. This is an extreme amount of uh, of in, of SPC right here, not the SPC. Yeah, that is higher than what we had the other day. I think the other day it was like 23 or something like that. Yeah, it was 23, it was 24. Central. Yeah, but yeah, now we're at 27. The significant tornado parameter right here. Look at this. Like, um, This is for the HER at 16Z. I just found a value of 11.7. Holy crap. Yeah. What yeah, do you make uh, of that? I mean, I think in terms of the total energy, there's definitely more of it with this system than the last one. So you're going to have more of a hail risk. Um, wind risk is probably about equal, all things considered. But yeah. the hail risk is going to be big with this system. Yeah, we're definitely... And as for the tornado risk, um, probably also high. I don't. I think with the direction of these storms... Um, maybe it won't be as quite as violent or as long. Oh, twelve point three, twelve point three. Just saw that. But yeah, there's good shears. There's plenty of energy for severe storms. Plenty of shear for tornadoes. I think there's a little less shear, actually, than there was speed shear than there was with the other event. SRH is also a little lower too, but. Yeah, the energy is there, and there's definitely going to be strong tornado potential today. Yeah, the directional shear is kind of making up for it quite a bit. Um, yeah, the big the others. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, the other system had stronger speed shear. Yeah, my um, big. Qu oh, go I ahead. Think that's why the tornadoes with that one were more violent. But this system has still has decent 
speed shear and better directional shear shear so you're probably going to see you might see more tornadoes today but weaker ones but still there's definitely a chance for some significant ones in there yeah my main question for you ethan is do you think is this going to be a supercell driven storm or is this going to be a squall line that dr that that drives this that's what the audience probably wants to know looking at the models it looks like our storm mode is going to start off as supercellular and then kind of everything kind of fuses together into almost a squall line type situation that kind of moves off from, you know, central Alabama into Georgia. Oh, wow. But then you're going to have supercells developing that are trailing that, that main cluster of storms, that main MCS that develops. So it's going to be a very active uh, evening overall. All right. My big, all right, any, of the more, any of the more discrete storms are where you're going to see your larger hail, a higher tornado risk. Okay, when do you think the greatest risk is going to be for these things? Um, severe weather is actually starting now, but I think the highest risk is going to really begin around 5 o'clock this evening, 5 p.m. Central, 6 o'clock Eastern, that general time frame. That's when we see a, just a big eruption of, of severe storms across you know, central Louisiana, southern Mississippi into central Alabama. That whole thing is going to progress into Alabama later in the evening. Probably the worst threat there is 9 to 11 p.m. Ooh, yeah. And then yeah. behind that, in the early morning hours, we might actually get some more supercells that blow up, some more discrete storms behind trailing that main MCS type thing. So yeah, let me it's going to be an all-night type of event, but I think the biggest threat is going to be from 5 p.m. to midnight tonight. Yeah. Um. Ladies and gentlemen, this one came completely out of left field. We had, well, it was a slight risk before this, then it moved up to enhanced yesterday, now up to moderate. Severe weather season is out in its fury, ladies and gentlemen. Um, absolutely ridiculous. Um, Ethan, if you have anything else for the audience, what can what's the best advice you can give them? I'd say if you're in Jackson, uh, Hattiesburg, uh, Alexandria, Louisiana, uh, Montgomery, Alabama, basically anywhere in that region of the Deep South, you know, not quite at the coast, but still pretty far south. If you're in that region, just definitely today's a day to stay aware of the weather. Be ready to take shelter when if warnings do go out. Um, I would say really be paying attention after 4 or 5 p.m. this evening. Okay. All right. Um, if that's the case, um, yeah, thank you very much, Ethan. Uh, the Pat's Path Predictor channel will be live streaming. We don't have a specific time just yet, considering this uh, this whole thing just really ramped up in the la in the last hour as I'm recording this. But we'll uh, but we'll let you know when we start streaming. But with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out and helps you make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Ethan, thank you for coming on. Thanks for having me on, as always.